Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croisu y salam, welcome to the channel y'all, chesh, yakshi, mash, ni ho, hey, and g'day y'all. So today I am bringing you the first video of this machine that I have had for ages, ages, and this is the Hoover Aquamaster. Now it does look like a Dalek, but it isn't actually, it's a Hoover, um, and uh, it's a uh, vacuum cleaner and a carpet washer extraction machine, mainly, um, that I've had for a while. And now it's time to do something with it. Now, there is a date wheel on here of 6 1992. So this is from 1992. Uh, but th this is when this part was made here, but it's roughly, let's just say the very early 90s anyway of this machine. And I haven't done anything with it. And the poor thing's been sitting over there and it is filthy gathering dust. It's in really bad condition. It really could do with a good, good, good scrub. So I thought, well, okay, well, let's do it now out of the way. I've got the hose with it. I'm sure I do have the handle attachments as well, but I haven't done anything with them at the moment. They're still over there, but I do have the handle here that we'll go through uh, in better detail when I get you guys a little bit closer. So yeah, right, without further ado, let's get you over the bench and let's have a look at this wonderful, but desperately need of a clean Hoover Aquamaster from the early 1990s. Okay, so there you are, perched up above and having a look. First thing we have to do is pour coffee because uh, when we have a challenge, there is nothing quite like a cup of coffee to get you going in the afternoon. Right, okay, coffee poured, let's start. First of all, let's take a look at what the hose I have here. Rather a large circumference on that hose. This is where the pipe comes all the way in. There is a big gap, so you're gonna have air leaks, so I think there might have been a rubber grommet or something there to to help prevent that. Hmm. Anyway, so the uh, water, clean water tube runs all the way through into the pipe, up to into here, and this is how you open it and close it. So that closes the water flow, and that lets in. So the way this works actually i don't think it's supposed to and what does it i don't know it works on a kind of siphon system so this end is attached to the vacuum this end goes into the machine somewhere i'm not exactly sure where and the suction that's coming through this will help to give it the kind of like siphon action so there's no pump on it there's no electric pump like the george it's all done by airflow gravity and a bit of siphon suction so the hose is in a bit of a state could do with a bit of a cleanup uh, that's where you put your attachments so the hose or whatever and the tube goes into there not really much to say about this except there we go now let's move on to the piece de resistance so here we have at the top we have the badge of madge by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment, Hoover 1990 Limited, Merthyr Tidville, until everything went a bit peat tong with the holiday scheme. The plug on it we have here, very, very taped up, so that doesn't look promising from the outset. I think we're gonna have to put a new plug on it. Uh, can we tell what brand plug it is? Or is it some generic old poop? Let's have a look. Can't tell, it's covered in stickers and it's absolutely filthy. And I've seen plugs with far better condition. Even far older ones. Uh, it's got a clip on it there, so that's really handy for when you're storing it, because it's not exactly a small item. It doesn't appear to have a super long cable on it. Let's have a look. Let's say that's one meter, two, three, four, 
five five and a half meters of cable on it so it's pretty short at the top here we have the on and off switch which is it's I think it's it's a rocker switch with this rubberized cover on it that will allow you to turn it on and off so that's quite that's that's pretty good actually it's a pretty nifty way of doing it with a cover in the rocker switch uh, ah, there we go on the side. So there we go. That's where the pipe goes into to get into the clear water tank. Here at the back we have the sticker. So this is the Hoover model S4470. Uh, 1050 watts. That's nice and powerful. Registered, made in Hoover, blah, 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 Great Britain. Underneath we have five wheels, Hoover accepted, 25005 tested, Hoover copyright, and that's what it says, 0692 on that mark there for it. Two clips either side of it, which you push in or out. There we go, out even. And let's lift this out. Ugh. Okay. Wow. Oh. Right, okay. It's got this on it as the bag. Uh, this filter must always and only be used for dry pickup. It must be removed for wet pickup. So basically what we have here is just a dust bag made of a cloth material. And that's it. That's all you have. The dirt goes straight into the bucket. No questions asked. Not very, <coughs> not the best way of doing it, I have to say. Hmm. I wonder if, although I doubt it, I wonder if. Now, this is a SIBO bag. And that's got quite a big opening. Would that fit on it? Yeah. Oh. Well. It has clips on it for a, the, its own type of bag. No, okay, so the SIBO bag won't fit on it. That's for the D series. Let's try one of these. Which is a... Um, Definitely, so not even a pneumatic bag will fit on that. Hmm. Okay, don't worry, I'll find something that will uh, fit into it because I'm not going to be using this inside again because I do want to test it and use it. So there we go, so there is the tub. Again, really not much to it. Very manky, so what is going to help me a lot is using this the pink stuff this is really going to help me clean it because of its abrasive enough uh, abrasiveness and tough on stains and it's very cheap so i think i might actually clean this body inside in the bath not with me but uh, clean it in the bath what the way pop it so here we have the motor and the float that will cut off suction to it once it reaches a certain level of water and then stop. I guess there is a way. Yeah, there's these little screw covers on the top. We'll have a look at it in, the, in a minute. But uh, first, I just want to switch it on just to see 
how it sounds. And also just to see how the suction is on it. So let me just plug it in. That sounds really good. The motor on it sounds really good. The suction on it is very, very good. Very powerful. I like that. Very nice indeed. Um, let's unplug it because it's a bit, that plug is very, very dodgy. You have to kind of like wiggle the plug around to make it work, which is never a good sign. Yeah. Right, so I think this I will wash in the washing machine. I'll put a, I'll put it inside a bag, um, a wash bag, and this I will scrub and clean inside because it's a bit too big to do you, and I think it could really benefit from a good scrubbing. On the inside, you have this kind of cover, so I, I will have bags for this. I'm sure I will. I will um, take a look and see where I can find, see if I can find something fleecy um, that will fit in there. Maybe, um, maybe a Kirby bag because that's got a very big hole. So yeah, anyway, don't worry about that. We will forge something for that. So I'm gonna put that inside for now. And we will concentrate just on this for the minute. So let me get my cleaning stuff ready and set up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll have to get a towel down on here. And let's see if we can make this shine. Okay, so there we go. I've laid it down now on a towel just to catch any mess. I can recommend putting down a towel to catch a mess because it's a good thing to do. So I'm going to remove this cage. <clears throat> not Nicholas. Okay, maybe not. Let's get a bigger screwdriver. I'm just going to loosen these off. Whoa, they are on tight. Okay, let's take the cage off. Let's. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, sand in there. Oh, that's cool. So I guess it's ever so slightly weighted just to make sure that um, it doesn't sort of like automatically go up. It's got a little bit of weight on it just to give it a bit of resistance. That's clever. I like that. Hey, Jody. Right. So now we've taken that off. That's the rubber seal. I can see a tiny little bit of rust there on the nut of the motor, but everything else looks fine. There's two screw covers on the top. Tell you what I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is give it a wipe over because it's absolutely filthy. Now that's a really long one, so I must make a note that the really long one goes by the Queen. Hmm, okay. I can see there's screws 
all the way around it because that one's a bit loose. And that looks like some sort of like plasticky paper thing. But I can't work out. You must get to the screws on the top. So how do you take this off? This part. How does this come off? I've undone two screws. I can't see any other screw holes. Right, let me have a look and see if I can find something online. Right, so I'm actually on virtual chat at the moment with Sam on how to do it. So he's advised me to pop this handle off and then there's two more screws in here. So let's give it a go. Hey! So there we go. And yes, there are two more screws in there. So let's just take a picture. There we go. So I can send, send it to Sam. Okay, I'll leave the phone there. So let's remove these two screws. I was having a look on YouTube just now. I, I stopped the filming to have a look and, oh, there we go. And there's absolutely nothing on how to refurb these. So there we go. Those are the two screws for that. So we see a sponge inside that's stuck down. It's a little bit dusty, but it's not too bad. Here we have the inside. That's the top of the motor. And now I can see, what's this? This is another cover. Uh, do you know what? I think I better get a screw card. So hang on a second. Let me get a screw card set up. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. Okay, so I've got my screw card here going at the moment. So that's fantastic. What I am decided I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole new cable on it. And I'm going to put a, a longer uh, cable on it. So I'd like to say a great big thank you to Sam for responding to me so quick as well. That is amazing. Thank you very much for that, Sam. Like I said, go check out his channel below in the video description because he has loads of videos. And he has some on this as well. So that's the big rocker switch. That's a pretty standard style of switch. So I'm going to take this cover off now. exhaust cover now that gives me access to five more screws ah that's a suppressor that let me move the switch out and here we can see a suppressor so what I'm going to do is to remove that suppressor one just snip down to the bottom of the wires making sure you don't snip anything bar the suppressor wires there we go so that's now been desuppressed I am going to put this back on temporarily just so I don't lose it, he said. Put it through the wrong hole. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back in here. not quite 
out. Okay. So there we go, there's the sponge. Let's get the screws out of this first. <coughs> Inside here we have this foam ring. Where that goes on, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. And these must be the piece for there. The piece for there, I'm going to leave that like that. Now we have this secondary muffle sponge. Wow, I'll have to get that vacuum out, it's a bit dusty. That's the air valve, I think. Is it? Yeah, it must be. Then we have a rubber cover that is absolutely chock a block with carbon dust. And then we have another foam ring section. And then we left with the motor. Wow, okay, excellent. So there's a foam piece around the top of there, and then there's a rubber seal around that there, which, and there we have the actual motor itself, which is really absolutely covered in carbon dust. So,
Right, I'm going to go wash this out and dry it. I'll be back in a minute. So we're back. I have been into the kitchen and cleaned all of the parts that I needed to. They do look a heck of a lot better than what they did when we first started. Uh, what else? There's another piece here somewhere. There we go. The top. All well, that's nice and clean now. So let's start putting this back together. And because it just looks like one giant spongy jigsaw. <laughs> um, I have got the footage that I airdropped to this phone, my spare phone, so that I can put all of this back together and know exactly what, well, what I'm doing. So basically, I just go in reverse of what I've, of what I've done. So I've put that on. Yeah, I've put that back on. And this spongy thing I vacuumed, so that goes back on there. This is the cable I'm going to be using from a um, broken, sticky, ugh, actually, it's completely knackered, so I'm going to use the cable off this. 
I kept it for this reason for for harvesting the cable. Okay, I can bend that. Yay! Bit more room. Right, let me get this cleaned up. Okay, so I take my cloth. Take my pink stuff. Take the end of the cable. And then pull it through. of dirt that sticks to a cable is really impressive. Let's go back. Right, I noticed a mark on this, so I'm going to use my fingers, go back slowly. There's the damage, the really bad damage. So, cut it to there. And how long do we have? Six and a half meters. It's a meter and a half longer than the other one. Right, let me just go and see, because I've got another cable, so let me go and check. Right, okay, so I have this one I found from a SIBO, and this is uh, almost 8 metres long, so I'm going to use this one. Ugh. Look at that, after three years, still coming off black. Jeepers, creepers. Right, okay, I think that's enough. <coughs> I'll give it another clean. Now it's not it's not um, the same color as the black, but it's grey, so I don't really mind that to be honest. Let's give this grommet. Cheese grommet. Wipe over. Okay. Let's get my wire snippers. There we go, so we got the new cable on, it's nice and tight, longer cable, <coughs> grommet is on nice and tight as well, there's the switch, right, I think we should just 
Let's just um, plug it in and see. So there we go, that is working. I just unplugged it. <coughs> Always double check with yourself. Now, and that sounded really, really good. Next, the top. So I pulled out the sponge on this to give it a vacuum, so I'm gonna do that now. Just, it's just a carpet fix brick. It's really good stuff for sticking in sponges and stuff. It goes a long way. So that is on. That looks nice and clean. Now, let's just check the video just to make sure that I haven't left anything out. So the switch is there. The other side of grommet. So these are the ones that go under the handle. One there, one there. These are the ones that go here, but the super long one, remember, goes for Queenie. So all the screws are on. I forgot to clean the handle, so I'm gonna go in and clean that now. But I'm not going to be putting this cage back on because I'm not gonna be using it for water. Um, I'm just gonna be using it for dry. But I don't wanna lose the screws, so I'm gonna put the screws back in it. And I'll keep everything safe. I have uh, places where I keep all the sort of like what I call not using at the moment parts so they're not going to get lost or or anything that back on Fantastic, right. Let me go and clean this handle and we'll be back and I'll end the video here for now and we'll come back for part two. Okay, my little whippersnappers, here we go. The handle is now on, clean. Let me just give these a scrub. There we go. That's the screw covers on. Ah, wow, that looks fantastic now. Really, really nice. I'm glad I did take it apart further 
So I'm going to end the video here. So I want to say a great, big, huge, massive thank you to Sam for coming to my rescue today to help me with this. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. I'm going to make this two parts because it's going to go on forever. So in the next part, we will uh, do the bottom part, the bin. Take a look at that and um, put it together and give it a demo. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode and I'll see you in part two. Bye, y'all.